I'm going to do a quick quick review on this uh, Trinamic 5160 eval kit. Here's the uh, the right side is the motor drive uh, board, and you can see that uh, it's got the stepper motor connected up to it, um, and so uh, that is the uh, manner you connect it in onto the uh, A and B connections. Over here on this uh, top connector here, we're bringing in um, about 10 volts, and uh, the orange is the positive, and the yellow is, is ground. Over here in the middle, we get the uh, bridge card, um, and then on the left-hand side, this is the uh, microcontroller control side, and then here is the uh, stepper motor. Uh, we're using from Trinamic. Um, and then uh, we've got a power supply and bring 10 volts half amp in. And then um, when I plug in the uh, USB C cable into there um, over here on the uh, IDE, we'll start to see some activity up there. So why don't I plug that USB C cable in here and we'll see what happens on the IDE. So after plugging the cable in, we're starting to get some blinking LEDs, which uh, is indicating power and communication. Um, let me uh, go up to the IDE here. Okay. Coming up on the IDE, we can see that uh, we've got uh, the TMC5160 eval kit plugged in. And then up here, we've got uh, COM port 5 is connecting. And then down here, I expanded out some of the, the command menus associated with this particular eval board. Also, up here, uh, we're, we're getting zero voltage on our power supply. So here's our power supply. I'll turn that on. So I've got that going now. And um, you can see that uh, it's showing 6.3 volts. Should be a little higher than that. Um, but, uh, I'm going to set up the right, power cycle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the, uh, the current now going into the stepper motor. So, um, I'm going to come over here and on this motor twisty, I'm going to go over here to the current setting and I'm going to do the standby current down to one. Value of one. Reduce the the power in standby, and then the run current. I'm going to reduce that to about four. So that's going to set up our currents, and then next I'm going to bring up the graphing velocity screen, so we can see that the motor's not spinning yet. And then I'm going to bring up the control mode for the velocity mode. And then that comes up here. At this point, I'm going to set up the target speed something around 2, two o'clock. And then the maximum acceleration uh, bring about, about 1 o'clock. So now that I have all that set up, I should be able to come down here and move the stepper to the right. And I can shut it off and move the stepper to the left and shut it off. So let's see what that's doing with the stepper motor here. If I go to the right, it's doing that. And if I go to the left, it spins the opposite direction. And then there's a momentary button I can push that allows the, the motor to spin while I've got this button held down, which is kind of convenient. And then down at the bottom, you can see that the uh, the graphing is showing target speed and uh, actual speed. So that's how you kind of get around in this uh, TMCL uh, IDE uh, for this uh, motor. Um, solution motor control solution. There's also some wizards over here that demonstrates 
some of these cool features inside the device. I'm not going to go through those right now, but um, if you step into, um, let's say, Stall Guard, it will kind of tell you some of the things you need to do to demonstrate that mode. And then down at the bottom, you click the right arrow key and it steps you through the different pages to get through the modes and get the, uh, the mode set up with the wizard. Anyway, I uh, hope you like the video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks.